My local one stop highlighted some issues that we were having. These were availability of assistance, staff friendliness and length of queues. From all the data we received, we did a number of things. I explained to my staff the importance of customer service could be the difference between a customer shopping with us or the local premier down the road. In order to improve availability of assistance, I trained my staff to acknowledge customers as soon as they enter the store. That way customers are aware there is assistance available should they need it. To improve length of queue, I ensured staff were using the queue buster bell effectively. Not just that, but judging who was in the queue as well. For instance, if a customer has a hand basket and there was a customer waiting behind with just one item, can we open up another till and get that customer served faster? We have lots of regular customers and to ensure that we continue getting a high response rate, I encourage staff to make sure they're talking to customers, explaining what my local one-stop is and explaining how by entering they get a £500 prize. We also compete against each other. We write our names on the invite cards, ensure that we hand out as many cards as possible to customers. We've seen an improvement in the length of queues, an improvement in the availability of assistance, and an improvement in staff friendliness. This has led to a higher overall satisfaction rate and therefore increased my sales from 17K to 22K per week. It was telling us basically that the standards in the store weren't to customers' expectations. I mean, cleanliness was a key feature in that. Um, it, it is important that we keep shelves and uh, general store areas clean, not just, not just about having products on the shelf. Um, one of the uh, key things we tried to do by increasing staff friendliness was to get staff having a bit more engagement with the customer, a bit more banter, trying to find out what they're happy with, what they're not, uh, not happy with, any sort of ideas, suggestions, improvements. Uh, you know, whilst we all like to think we can get it right, it's, uh, it's always a customer who can make that big, big bit of a difference. Uh, what my local one stop tells us now is that we, we are better at serving customers, being friendlier, being cleaner, but it's important not to be complacent and that I think we're trying to perpetuate and instill a bit more of a culture of being on the shop floor a lot more, taking our work onto the shop floor, um, taking our end of day work onto the shop floor and generally all the things that we tend to do in the back areas, um, more on the shop floor. There's certain things we have to do in the back office but we need to be on the shop floor a lot more where it's all happening and being more visible for the customer. My local one stop was telling us that in store we had high volumes of queues. We had a uh, stock left on the shop floor that was hindering the customers from getting through. Some customers were experiencing difficulties with push chairs, or the elderly customers couldn't get round the store because of the restricted width of the aisles. Now is an area we're doing what they call a pulse day, which is one day a week. So instead of upsetting the customers by repeatedly asking the customers, Okay, we have the point of sale out on display for the customers if they want to give feedback, but for one day a week we will ask every customer whilst visiting their stores what they actually think. It's not a set day, so we're focusing on different customers at different times of the day and different times of the week to get a true reflection. Since we've been doing that we've actually seen a dramatic increase on responses through my local one stop. We decided as a store to actually take action. So we reduced the volume of floor stacks by uh, utilising and doing a 50-50 split. So instead of having one floor stack, we'd have 50-50, giving the, the customer the offer they wanted, yeah, but also reducing the actual space that we took over in the shop floor. Therefore, we could increase the sales, taking the sales from £40,000 a week to £44,000 a week by listening to what our customers wanted. I use my local one stop to help look at the engagement of the customer service in my stores. The tools that I use to uh, look at my local one stop, I use my iPad uh, or my smartphone. So it's an app that you can download and that gives you all the information you need on there. You can also set up uh, favourites. So the reporting that I get back is around the measures, what's on our steering wheel and what's really important to customers. The improvements I've seen across my region is really around, it sounds obvious, but it's really around the customer comes first. That's real in the nuts and bolts of it. Everybody's fully engaged across the region. We've still got work to do, um, and the customer service has improved. I believe that my local one stop is a great way for us to understand what the customers expect when they visit our stores, and also to use it as a management tool to make sure that we've got the right people in the right places at the right time. 
becoming an outstanding customer service so that we get the return customer. I suppose in summary, you really will want to make a difference with my local one stop. You actually want to, will want to make it work for you. And I suppose the best place to start is with you, yourself and your store team. Because if you, you haven't got a motivated, trained team in the first place, then customer service is going to fail. So if you get those right, then uh, definitely customers will be happy. I stopped coming into the store uh, for a few months, but I started coming back now because uh, morale's a lot better. Um, the staff are very, very friendly, very willing to help. Um, and we do literally have a laugh when we walk in. Um, because I'm here most days, I do buy a lot of the offers, um, which are really good, um, and I do find myself coming in for them. Um, but I do enjoy the experience, believe it or not. <laughs>